In this video, we'll continue editing our photos individually. So uh, this one here, obviously the background is completely blown out. And I'm, I actually, I'm, I'm kind of okay with that. I mean, it has like this white, clean white look to it. I want to add a little bit more contrast to her here. Just a little bit. Um, but let's let's go ahead and try it. Let's let's just see. Let's go down that path and see what what it's like. Worst case, we can decide not to do it, right? So let's come into our sky replacement, and let's pick out our sky. We could do maybe just a blue sky. Add some clouds in there, like we had before. Yeah, we had cloudy skies before. I think that was the one we used. So let's choose, we can use a little different one. Let's crank the brightness on it a lot. Since it is still bright, we're just gonna add just a, maybe just a subtle little bit. Just super, <laughs> um, we're gonna keep it super bright. But maybe something like that, just so it's a little bit. And then we could even take this and bring it down just a little bit, just so that there's a little bit back there, but it's not. So you can see, okay, obviously it's a sky. It's not a studio shot by any means. Um, but we have that little bit added in there. Do we need to clean up any of any wrinkles or anything like that? I think it's okay. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Okay, I'm good with that. Okay, so it's super subtle on this one, um, but let's go ahead and close that and move on to the next one. And for this, so this is similar to what we did on the other shots. Let's walk through that process to, I'm gonna change this some. Um, and let's, This one might need a little bit more of a sky replacement on that. Yeah, we'll brighten this up quite a bit. Shift the edge in. That's fine, we're still gonna need to um, do a lot of uh, edge work there, but that's a pretty good start. And then let's take our, this, do our subject selection, just so we have that. And on this one here, go ahead and select that. Um, that's not great, actually. Oh, I think I changed the tolerance by accident. There we go. Uh, okay, I mean, that's not a great, <laughs> great selection there, but we'll use that to start with, and then it can, if we end up using that, we'll, we'll adjust that as we need to. But no need to fix that right now unless we actually use it. So I'm going to paint some of this back in. Just my hardness, paint some of this. I don't want to be 100%. I'm going to leave some of the sky cast on here just to get some of that color uh, recast on there. And on her, looks like there's a little bit of a mask issue here that I actually might be on this. Yeah, that's on this here. Let's see how that... Oh, is that actually a cloud back there? Maybe that's actually a cloud behind her, just the position of it is bad. So for that, we can do a little bit of a manual fix 
just because it does look like a bad mask, even if it's not. We can do a little bit of a manual fix there. Fill that in. Oh, that's right. I used uh, frequency separation, which is current. I want current and below. And, oh, it's on. It, okay, there we go. We'll just, we'll just go ahead and continue with that. I think that was actually on the subject layer, but that's all right. Do a, a brute force attack on this, <laughs> basically kind of forcing, forcing that to look the way we want. A little blend, just hide that little edge there. And pull this in. Okay, so this is a, a, a little bit of a fix. We'll just remember that, okay. Now for this, remember there's that building there next to the blue one. So this is gonna be mostly building, but let's duplicate this. Oh, let's duplicate this. And see about moving this guy down just to get a little bit of it there. And then we will, uh, I don't need those, don't need that, don't need this. Okay, we'll just paint just a little bit of this back. Really, all we're using is the sky out of that. I don't need the rest of this group. <laughs> I don't know why I was, I was just turning all those off, but that's really all I needed was just the sky. Okay, we might need some of our layers after all, or some of our wire stuff after all. We're gonna keep this super subtle, super, super low flow. Let's get rid of that that we did and then just paint this in super, super light. behind where that building would be. So you remember we kind of made that building up in the last one that where the edge of it was because there's no way to tell where the edge of that is. So we can do something like that again. A little bit too much there. And then this is not going to be aligned with the wires because building in the background has nothing to do with the wires here. So the idea is that, you know, you can see the building obviously, but it's not, but the sky isn't what's blown out, the building is. Something like that, right? Help lend to that illusion and then we can Turn that down just to add a little bit of it there. We could actually even just add some visual, a little bit of visual interest back into that. And then this part here, I want to add the blur. So let's merge these and do our blur. And then if we add that mask to it, we don't, so I want actually all of this. For the blurred part, we already did some of the relighting. I don't want it, so I don't want it affecting any of this basically. So get rid of all that. Same with all this, get rid of all that. Get rid of that, oops. Wrong way, there we go, that way. And her as well, we don't need, we don't want relighting on her. We did that already, or we can do that. So I'm okay with a little bit on the edge here, just so we don't have to mask that. But we can blend that more if we need to, depending on what the actual color looks like. Once we get out of the mask here, there we go. Something like this, fill that in just 
just so really what we're all we want here is this is the wires on this part so it's not affecting her as much yeah okay that's good okay and then we could even Add a little bit to everything. And that adds just a little bit since it's to everything overall. It just adds a little bit of uh, continu continuity to it. This here, you know what, actually, let's... I wonder what it would look like if we were to take this in the direction of being even more, even bluer, and then bring it down. OK. So again, just adding a little bit of subtlety to that. This is our bottom this is the blur one let's control j duplicate that and we'll do that in here too oops that's not the one i want i want this one this is the blurred sky let's rename that just so we know blurred sky oops sky all right so that's super a lot of blue Let's not colorize it. Let's there we go. And then light. So just pretty subtle there. Okay. So hiding. Let's see these this is our sky replacement. So this is everything there, so let's. This is before and after. So adds adds in some vis, some some uh, visual interest there behind her. It's not completely blown out. Might actually make it a little bit more subtle. Just so you can see that there's something there, but it's not completely blown out. We don't want it to take focus, of course. Okay. All right. So now that we got that, what's our next one? Oh, that's uh, basically the same. All right. So let's go ahead and save this, and then I'll see you in the next video where we're going to tackle uh, essentially the same thing that we just did, but just on a slightly different photo. So I'll see you in the next video.